Hi, today uh, I'd like to talk about the long-awaited bioethanol fires that uh, we said we was doing a few months ago. We've now got completely set up with them. Um, and I'd like to show you what they are and answer some of the questions that uh, uh, customers tend to ask us when they come in. So, what is a bioethanol fire? Okay, a bioethanol fire is like any other fire. The difference is it doesn't require a chimney. In most cases, um, it doesn't require a chimney. And it's very versatile because you can put it in any area, in any room. Um, and the only other fire you can do that with is kind of electric, really. And there's a lot of people out there that don't want electric. They simply don't like the look of the flames or the, the pretend flames in them. So what bioethanol fires gives you is a real flame and the versatility to be able to put it where you like in your home. Okay, so that's one big reason that they're becoming quite popular now. Um, so what is bioethanol fuel? Bioethanol fuel is obviously a, a good news story at the moment because it's, it's eco-friendly. It's a fuel that's produced from fermented uh, plants, such as sugar beet, that sort of thing, to produce alcohol. Okay, so it's very, very clean burning, hence uh, no reason for a chimney. With these bioethanol fires, we have chosen to go with a couple of uh, um, high quality manufacturers, one being Planica, uh, which is made in the US, and another one is the uh, EcoSmart fires, which you have over here. Planica is probably the top of the range now. Um, it's very, very safe compared to, you know, a lot of the cheaper models you get that you can just fill up um, straight into the top of the burner. We don't want that. Um, we want the most, the safest possible um, units available. This Planica one is completely automatic. So this is all you need to get a bioethanol fire working. This is part of the fire when you buy it. That's an electronic pump which puts fuel into the fire and cuts off when it's full. Um, so it's obviously a big safety thing. That's a typical bottle of fuel that you get. Um, and you basically put the end of this pipe in the fuel and it does everything else for you. So I'm going to now show you how this attaches to the fire and how simple it is to use. So with the pump that they've supplied with the fire, this is the uh, Planica Automatic. This is a 700 version on here. Very simple. So you, you take this end of the pump which has a brass connection and ele electrical connection there. There's a little access here. Basically, this plugs into that little hole that they provided there. And then you take the electronic connection and that goes into the hole next to it. Then the fire itself will power the pump. So all you've got to do then is put that in the bottle of fuel. And then the, the fire will do the rest for you. So I can show you the lighting process of this. Um, which is quite a bit of theatre, and it takes about a minute and a half to, 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 um, to ignite. The reason for that is, is there's, there's a fan in here that blows the vapours across the fuel bed, and then there's like a glow plug, um, which will actually then ignite. Once the vapours are warm enough, the, va the vapours will light, and then you'll get your dancing flames appearing over here. So the whole process, you know, the actual ignition takes about a minute and a half, then about another 30 seconds before you can see the flames coming up to full height. It's all done automatically. So um, I'm just going to light the uh, fire via the remote control just by pressing start. You hear the bleep. That's telling you that it's um, going through its process to get the flame set and the fuel level set and everything else. And you'll see on the right hand side, there's a little white diode that's starting to glow orange. So when the vapors start to pass across that bar, that will then ignite the fire. So that was the lighting process. Um, as you can see, we've now got a flame and that set itself at midway, basically. So if I want to go higher with the flame, I can either use the remote control or I can use the uh, uh, up and down buttons in here. So obviously you'll use the remote control. When you press this, each time you press it, you'll get a bleep. When it doesn't bleep, it means it's at its highest or lowest setting. So it's just a simple step remote. And it takes a little while. There you go, that's, that's on full now. So it's not an instant response. 
you'll see this um, check its own safety devices and everything else it needs to do, then it will lift into higher mode. So you can see the uh, flame is starting to lift up there. But like I say, it can, t it can take 30 seconds, something like that, for it to lift up. And this is a very different sort of flame that you'll see on a gas fire or anything else like that. It's very fluid. Um, people call it dancing flames or they call it uh, f a water fire, things like that. Um, just because of the way that flame pattern is. And that isn't just down to the fuel. Um, obviously, you get, an, you get a nice flame with that sort of fuel anyway, but this bar here is actually interrupting the air going over it, so it's giving a very still bottom of the flame and making it react in that particular way. So um, very clever, very soothing to look at. Um, and obviously, if you had a choice over, personally, if you had a choice over this or an electric effect, I'd have this all day long. Um, it's giving you heat, lots of heat when you want it. Um, and it's a real flame. That's, that's the big difference. It's a real flame, which is what people crave after, at the end of the day. Um, I'm not going to tell you that it's, a, a, it's an efficient way of heating. Um, or, well, it is efficient, but a cost-effective way of heating because, you know, the fuel isn't that cheap. It's going to be costing you in the region of anywhere between 40p and 75p an hour to run, depending on the size of the burner you buy. Um, so it works out about 24p per kilowatt hour, basically, to run a bioethanol burner. Um, but when you take into account the low installation costs, there's no maintenance, there's no yearly servicing, and you buy the fuel as you go. Um, so all those things are quite attractive, because at the end of the day, anything like this isn't put in for a heater. That's not what you do, although you get the heat from it, it's put in for a, a pleasant feature to have in your lounge. Um, so that's, again, why, they, why, why people are asking for them so much at the moment.